Sing the symphony My heart beats when it could not sing a P One G play some keys to sing for me I get hooked to the chorus guaranteed uh, I'm a tempo tempo Music takes you to the place it came from Instrumentals in your mental echoes In your subconscious it sits and set those You're welcome to Bible Talks. Fridays are for Bible Talks. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit that bell and share. Mondays are the political segment of the show. Wednesdays are the educative segment of the show. And Fridays are Bible Talks. So today I will not take much of your time. Uh, we know this is Easter season. And I believe Easter season and Christmas alike are seasons for reflection. Deep reflection. We must take time to really consider why we have such a season. I know the world has made uh, Easter now about finding eggs and Easter bunnies and whatnot, uh, but the true essence of Easter is what we should be reflecting on as well as uh, I, I believe the same about Christmas. When Christmas comes, the true essence of the events that took place 2,000 years ago should be, uh, should be what should be on our minds. So this uh, Easter season, I'm here just to give you some few words of encouragement. As I said earlier, I will not take too much of your time. Please do subscribe, hit that bell and share. We'll continue Bible Talks next week, giving you uh, part one of an interesting series I would like us to get into, which is the personality of God. I believe many Christians today have lost their sense of curiosity on God. Who is God? Uh, where did God come from? Uh, where does God dwell? You know, there are certain questions that I believe for God that's mysterious, we should, they should keep our curiosities alive, our amazement, our wonder, our awe alive for God. Uh, but what we have made it to be is we have switched the focus from having curiosities about God and we've taken more keen interest in what we're doing, what we're not doing, what our neighbors are doing uh, in inspecting each other to ensure that we're able to tell each other who and who isn't going to heaven. Yeah, so in this time of Easter, it's very important to reflect on the works that Jesus Christ did on the cross of Calvary when he was killed and God brought him back to life on the third day. You know, it's important to think of the fact that Jesus Christ actually died and came back from the dead. When you think of Jesus, you're thinking of the first man to permanently come back from the dead. He died and came back from the dead. That's a very important thing for you to just let sink in. That Jesus Christ actually came back from 
the dead. Now I know everyone watching me has at least lost someone before. Um, you know the feeling of losing people. And many times when we lose people in this world, people die, we make it out to be a very sad event. We think there's a demotion that has happened because we hold so much value on this life, on this end of reality. We place so much value here. So we think if someone loses their life here, it's a demotion. When in fact, many cases, especially of those that die in Christ, when they die, it's an act of promotion. Now, more importantly for you to think about is that those, lo those loved ones that you've lost before, imagine them coming back from the dead. Uh, it's a bit of a, th a scary thought when you think about, imagine taking someone for burial and just when you put their body down for body viewing, they came back to life, just how everyone would scamper because it's not a normal thing for people to come back from the dead. But Jesus Christ came back from the dead. Now, uh, in, our, in our previous episode, I told you, I read you guys a scripture about how if our hope in Christ in this, is in this life alone, then we of all men are miserable. We of all men are pitiable. If our hope in Christ is in this life alone, our hope in Christ extends beyond this life because we know and understand that the moment we leave this life, we enter a new one, awaiting to get this life back. And this is a very important promise that Jesus gave to us, which I feel is not being emphasized enough these days, that we will be raised from the dead. That if we believe in Jesus Christ, we will be raised from the dead. And a time like this is very important in remembering these things, that Jesus Christ truly had to die, truly had to be raised from the dead in order for him to become a first fruit. If you know what a first fruit is, then you understand that every single thing that happened to Jesus uh, in terms of results after his death will happen to us that he died and rose again and can never die again. That is the exact promise Jesus gave, that we who believe in him shall not die. And even if we died in this life, he will bring us back to life because he's the resurrection and the life. It's important during Easter that you reflect upon these things, that Jesus Christ actually died and came back from the dead. And in the same way, those who have died in Christ will come back from the dead one day and we'll leave with them permanently. Do have a good Easter. We'll see you next week. Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.